Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will be creating a new Java Spring project. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to click on the Create New Spring Starter Project option. Okay, and then we need to give our application a name. So I will call it Water Watch. Okay, and now the next thing that we need to do is we need to change the group. So the group will be com ebesis and then the artifact can remain water watch. Okay, and now we can change the package to com ebesis dot water watch. So that will be the main package of the application. And then we'll leave the type to maven and the java version can stay 11 so now we can select next okay so now we need to create all the features that we want our application to have so the first thing that we need to do is we need to select the developer tools drop down okay so the following tools will be selected spring boot dev tools Lombok, Lombok, and then we can select the SQL drop down next. Okay, and over here we are going to select the Spring Data JPA, and then the next thing that we will select is the Postgres SQL driver because we are using a Postgres SQL database. We want to be able to connect to it. Okay, so that will be it from the SQL dropdown. The next dropdown that we will select is the web dropdown. Okay, so over here we want to select Spring Web because we want to create a web application. So we want all of the libraries downloaded that we will need. Okay, so finally, um, the libraries that we will use is the standard Spring Boot Dev Tools, Lombok, Spring Data JPA, Postgres SQL Driver, and Spring Web. So this should be enough for us to create a boilerplate web application. So now we can select Finish. And then over here, you can see it's busy downloading and importing and installing the libraries that we will need to create our web application. And over here, you can see the project folder has been created. So now it's going to um, configure the project folder, install the appropriate libraries so that we can create our application. So let's just wait for it to complete. Okay, so now the project initialization is complete. All the files have been downloaded and created. So as you can see, the water watch folder looks different now. There's a boot and a dev tools in brackets. So that means that our um, application is a Java Spring Boot application. And we've also installed the dev tools. And all the project files and folders have been created for us. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.